would be going down to St James's Park to watch Exeter City uh, with my dad on like a cold Tuesday night. Uh, I can't remember who it would have been against, um, but they were back in League One in those days. Uh, but yeah, no, I just remember being stood up in the big bank, sort of barely, barely being able to see, but no, that's uh, one of my first memories. Exit City, um, I used to go to games, like I said, on a Tuesday when I was playing football on a Saturday, so that were the only times that I could go. Um, you know, we made a few trips up to, to Wembley, um, watched them play at Old Trafford as well against Man United, which was yeah, a decent one. can't remember who it was that they are playing against. Um, I was just more concerned on sort of what boots people were wearing and stuff like that back then anyway. first football shirt I owned, I think it was an AC Milan one. Um, my auntie lives over in Italy, uh, so when she used to come over, she'd always sort of give us the little fakey ones without the badge and all like, get all tatty so easily. And uh, But no, nah, I'm pretty sure it was a, uh, an AC Milan one. Uh, no one on the back though. Uh, that would have been a couple of Mondials. The dad probably bought off eBay that were polished to an inch of their life. Uh, but yeah, I think so. My favourite player, I've always loved Didier Drogba, um, sort of being a striker as well, and every kind of goal he scored. Um, but when I was younger and going to the Exit City games, it was uh, a striker called Sean Devine. Um, but I, don't, I don't think he's still knocking around anymore, anyway. Uh, I played for a team called Central Red Stars. Um, which were, yeah, we weren't we weren't very good at the start. That was my first team. Um, uh, it was just through like family friend. My dad knew the the guy that ran it, so I got in with them. And uh, yeah, I think I played for them for a year, and then went to the uh, the satellite centre at Plymouth, or that Plymouth had set up in Exeter. I think I was nine. Yeah, I was nine when I first went to the satellite centre. Um, and yeah, just sort of, I had a few mates as well that were playing in the satellite and they went over to sort of Plymouth's academy, whatever, youth team before me, the season before. So I was sort of thinking, oh, I'm, I haven't sort of been chosen to go with them yet. Um, but then, yeah, it was the following season that I went and I remember uh, I was chuffed, obviously, but mum and dad then had to drive from, uh, from Exeter to Plymouth. I think it was once or twice a week uh, after work. So yeah, they weren't too pleased, but... That was, uh, that was, yeah, my, my youth growing up. I remember it was in the cup against Sunderland away. Um, I think we lost 2-1 in the end. Um, yeah, I remember sort of just being stood on the touchline and, and the rest of it was a blur, really. Um, and home debut, or sort of in my head, my first full debut was against Arsenal, which... Uh, which was a pretty special game to be to be chucked into, and no, I was, should have scored as well. I was a bit unlucky, but uh, no, that's that's a, a fond memory in my in my head. Always got good bits of advice from uh, the head of sort of he ran the academy at Plymouth, uh, Gordon Bennett. His name was. Um, he always used to say, work hard, concentrate, and try and be positive every time you get the ball, and that's a. Uh, something that I've always had with me and I've got my shin pads as well which is uh, quite a nice one. Best memory in football? That's a tough one. Um, it would probably be uh, the winning goal against uh, against Blackburn in the under 21s. Um, it was a tough year for me sort of going out on loan and, and fighting with a few things off the pitch. Um, so to, to be sort of back back with the boys at Southampton and to score in whatever it was, the last few minutes of extra time and wasn't, wasn't the worst goal either. So uh, no, that's, I'd say that's still, in my mind, one of my fondest.